Did the colonel send for me? I tell you, it's a disgrace to the army. But, General, this is exaggerated. What does Tom Kirby know about this? He's only talking. I'm talking too. Now I want this country cleaned up. Pronto. And if you can't do it, well, I'll come here and do it myself. Oh, you're always mulling me around. You've got to stop it. No wonder I'm nervous. You never used to talk that way, Jeff. Don't you love your wife anymore? Listen, Rose, I've told you a dozen times, you're my sister on this trip. You want to spoil everything? Bear with me a little while, darling. Everything will be all right. Better get back in the wagon, honey. I want to talk to Buck privately. Is everything all right? Yes. They'll take them all. Gold on delivery. How are you, Buck?
200 guns and ammunition. Don't let the black go, shoot you. The setting sun sees Indian arms under moving canvas. told me you sound like a sawmill when you snore. A sawmill? <laughs> Where you listen, young'un? And I'll really give you a sawmill. Better not go in there, Mr. Morris. The Colonel's on a rampage. I guess he'll see me. What do you want, Morris? Oh, how do you do, gentlemen? I thought I'd tell you about. But uh, I see you've seen it. Already. It seems to me that Tom Kirby is doing his best to undermine the confidence of our people in the government. My, my, it's foolish to think that someone is smuggling guns to the Indians. Foolish, eh? What do you know about it? Uh, why, uh, oh, uh, nothing. Then don't talk so much. Did you miss me, honey? Look, I wrote another poem today. That's fine, honey. I'll read it while I'm changing my clothes. Uncle Happy, tell me how Daddy Tom saved me from the Indians. What? <laughs> Bless your heart, child. I've told you about that 40 million times. 
What do you think of that, Pop? That's what we need, boy. Yeah. Hello, Tom. Hello, General. Hello, Colonel. Morris. I see you've been reading my story. What do you think of it? I didn't like it. What are you trying to do, cause trouble? You don't know what you're talking about anyway. How do you know I don't know what I'm talking about? It's true, isn't it? The guns are being smuggled to the Indians. The women and children are being killed all over the country. There's no secret about that, is there, Colonel? Why, what do you expect from the Indians, Brother Kirby? They don't know any better. <laughs> they know how to tommyhawk our women and children. They know how to shoot guns and kill soldiers. Am I wrong, General? You're dead right, boy. Here. Can you figure that out? It looks to me, General, like someone is trying to say that tonight at sundown, a covered wagon, I take it that moving canvas means covered wagon, is bringing guns to the Indians. I'll bet that's the wagon train that's due here tomorrow morning. Why don't you search it at Snake Creek? They'll camp there tonight, sure. General, I have no right going around the country poking my nose into other people's business just because I represent the government. We've got to stop this smuggling. That's our most important job now. We can't overlook a single opportunity. We'll search the wagon train. Tom Kirby is right. Mr. Kirby isn't always right. What do you mean by that, Betty? Hello, General Custer. Well, yesterday, Tom bet me that I couldn't ride from the fork in five minutes. And I just did it in four. Betty, if you break your neck someday, or her horse's leg. You would think of my horse first. Betty, we're going down the Snake Creek to search that wagon train for guns. I guess I'll go along with you, Colonel. I haven't anything to do. Daddy, I'll go too. Snake Creek isn't far from the ranch, and you can come home with me. Great, we'll make a party of it. I'm sorry I can't go along. I'm leaving tonight. Colonel? I'm depending on you to stop this gun smuggling. If any man could do it, you're the one. Get your feathers on. The cavalry's going to search a wagon train.
those things in heavy boxes in the back wagon. Never mind. I've told you several times it's none of your business. The less you know about it, the better I'll like it. sister come with us to the ranch tonight and then I can drive them to town in the morning. Certainly. Certainly that's an excellent idea. Thanks, Colonel. We'd like to. Uh, we'll get some clothes. Grand country, Miss Holliday. It was nice of you and your father to put us up last night. Well, it was a pleasure. We enjoyed having you. <laughs> I don't blame you for loving this western country. Jeff and I are going to be very happy here, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Father told me to watch for Indians as he looks for trouble. Well, I guess it's up to me to take care of both of you. <laughs> I always did want to fight a lot of Indians. <laughs>
Senorita is not her. No? Yeah? No. Well, maybe, maybe yes. Who are you? I know. You're the black ghost. I may be so called by some. But, senorita, you may call me. Pa, ah, your friends arrived. I must go. Senorita, you may call me always your friend. I could hardly wait until I could talk with you alone. What's come over you, Jeff? Oh, nothing. I have a lot on my mind. We've got to be careful. Jeff, you can't throw me aside like an old boot. Don't talk like a child. I'm not trying to throw you aside. Then why can't you acknowledge me as your wife? Why must people go on believing me your sister? What is all this mystery about? I've told you time and time again. The success of all our plans depends upon me appearing to be single and free. I'll do anything in the world to help you. But don't abuse my love, or I'll... Ah, Brother Maitland, I'm glad you're here. There's several matters I wish to discuss with you. Uh, private. I've rooms for you both. I'll show you yours, my dear. Make yourself comfortable, Rose. What did you learn at Colonel Halliday's? Colonel Halliday is worried about the continued Indian attacks, but he believes the Indians are stealing the guns somewhere east of here. Excellent. 
We must keep him believing. Hey, Brother Maitland, we'll make a fortune out of this frontier. But we must keep it a frontier. carbine rifles. We found them on dead engines. The latest model Sharps, perfected just before the close of the war. I'll join you presently. What you got there, Colonel? Kirby, Bill and the boys found these guns on dead engines. Colonel, at last you have positive proof that the Indians are securing new guns. Colonel, one way of finding out whom these guns were shipped to is by tracing their factory numbers. Where are they? What's your idea in stealing those guns? Speak up, man, not dumb. Perhaps the poor brother is dumb. The numbers have been filed off. Oh, Smith! Lock him up. In his wagon. Why, well, certainly not. He's the son of my old adjutant. Don't whisper about me, Kirby. I'll answer your questions in the open. All right, Maitland, if you want it straight, what did you have in your wagon? I don't consider that any of your business. No? Well, guns have reached the hands of the Indians. That's every man's business. Don't you insinuate that I'm selling guns to the Indians. My, my. He doesn't even know any Indians. The Indians stole your wagon. The only one on the train they were interested in. Until you explain what was in that wagon, I'm suspicious. My, 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 my. Tom Kirby. How can you suspect Jeff Maitland? Kirby, I'll vote for Maitland. Come on, Jeff. Why? Happy Saddle Cyclone. I'll be right out. Well, sure, Tom.
Where are you going? Do me a favor, Aggie. Watch that man in front of Mr. Morris's office and tell me what he does. They're coming down the street. They're getting on their horses. I thought so. They're riding out of town. Keep my supper warm, Maggie, if I don't get back in time. Goodbye, honey. Goodbye, Daddy Tom. We start a trouble in town. We've got to make delivery at once to Pawnee Blood. Come on. Chief, the canoe's on the way with guns and powder. I'm very glad you bring guns. I have gold to pay. Oh! I sent men to hunt buffalo. We have big feet. That's good, Chief. Uh. Tell Pawnee Blood that Kirby sank the canoe. The guns are in the river. All right, Hank.
Whoa! Quick, let me have the wagon. Oh, it's not for myself that I want it. I found some of the guns. Some of the guns? Yes, I have them hidden up in the rocks. Men, go with Mr. Kirby. Thanks. Kirby sank the canoe with all the guns.
Anything serious, Doctor? No, he'll pull through, Colonel. Betty! Betty! Where's Betty? What about Betty? She... She was with me. When the buffalo stampeded. She weren't nowhere about when we got there. The Indians were chasing us. Those red devils must have got her. What were you doing with Betty? I caught two men in a canoe. They were running in guns. Betty came along in a wagon, and I had to use it. We didn't find no guns in that wagon. That's a pretty good story you got figured out, Kirby. Take it easy, Tom. Aggie, I heard your daddy Tom was hurt. And I wondered if there was anything I could do. Aggie, all right. Leave him alone. The doctor's in there now. Uncle Happy says I mustn't go in. Dear, dear. This looks very bad. Brother Kirby talks of stolen guns. But the scouts couldn't find them. And Miss Betty taken prisoner by the Indians. Dear, dear me. Seems to me Kirby was more interested in those guns than he was in Miss Betty. Come on, Tex. <laughs> Sit down, Kirby. Take her easy, Tom. Hey, there are a pair of bounty on coyotes like you. And I reckon you'd better get a moving before I collect some. And don't come around these diggings no more. I wonder who got away with our guns. We've got to get them back. Find them at once. All right, Morris, I'll try. Bring them a fiddlestick. Way down in Missouri, at our little home.
glad you're here. Here's me. understand their sign language. What are they saying? Soldiers got little ammunition. Indians are to fight the train bringing bullets. Then attack the town and they don't have ammunition to fight back. I have seen plenty. Stuff out of here. The Indians are coming for it. They're going to attack the town. All right, Buck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take your position.
We can get another team. I know where we can get more ammunition. I'll hit my wagon, Miss Betty. Better, you must not expose yourself to further things. This is no time to think of myself. We need those guns and ammunition. But, Betty, Betty, you must. Don't try to stop me. I'm going. Shaking up with Cleary's head. He wouldn't let me by, and I, I want to thank you. <laughs> what are you doing in the street alone? Didn't I tell you to stay in the house? Now do as I say. Go on home and stay there. I'm thinking that's a funny way for a man to treat his sister. I don't like him either. Uncle Happy, aren't you shame breaking up all our dishes that way? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, honey. Hey, listen. I'm kind of figuring that you'd better quit poking your nose into other people's business. I'm going out someplace where it's real quiet and peaceful, like fighting Indians or something. Eh? <laughs> That's all right, honey, just a scratch. Come on, I'll help you clean up. There's a party from town coming after the guns. I know it, the Black Ghost is to blame for this. As soon as you get fixed up, a couple of you get that raft ready. The rest of you start bringing them guns out. What's gone wrong now, Happy? A uh, plenty. Miss Betty and some fools in the wagon have gone a gallivanting off to some cabin. They're looking for some guns or stuff. 
What? To the cabin? for more trouble. Look, you're too late. They're coming. When the others come back, you tell them to meet him at the hideout above the falls and help him unload. All right, Barney. The girl has seen the guns, so you look after her here until Buck decides what to do with her. Shove off. if we hadn't ought to fetch that gal along with us. Jake will take care of her back at the cabin. Hey, what are you doing back there? We don't want to land here. Oh, yes, we do. I ain't gonna harm you. How could I? A pretty girl like you. You stay away from me. I told you to stay away from me. I ain't gonna hurt you.
You call and tell us now. She knows we ain't real engines. Get out, Jake. Lower that gun. I'll shoot the first man that enters that door.
Jeff, I've shot a man. Take me home. Oh, get me away from here before I faint. Remember the day Mr. Morris's dog bit our dog, Rover? Sure I do. But Danny Tom told me not to do that. Because it always scares you. Oh, please, Uncle Happy. All right, I will. But you can't bother me no more. All right? You, oh, you, Dad, what? I didn't know it at the time. I was, I was locked in a shack and... What's happened, Buck? Why, some Indians double-crossed us and got away with all the guns and ammunition. How many Indians? One. But, but he was a big one. That Indian was Tom Kirby. Hey, Joe. Go ahead. You want to bet on that blue car there? Hey, man. Come on. Well, what do you think of Kirby now? Well, can you imagine him coming up by trying to blame things on others? Why, sure. Didn't you see that article in the paper? Yes, and he's trying to blame it on the government all the time, too. Yeah? Let's go get Kirby. Sure to do good for him. That's right. Let's go. You ain't going anywhere, fur. Why not? Come on, Happy. <laughs> Don't worry, have you take care of it? Let's have 
have no violence about this. Ah, why powwow? Kirby's dealing with the Indians? Let's get him. Who accuses Tom Kirby of dealing with Indians? I do. You shot him, didn't you? Yes, I shot him. There you are. But I know he was trying to learn something about those white men who were masquerading as Indians. Ah, don't pay any attention to her. She's defending Tom Kirby because she loves him. Yes, I love him. And I won't believe him guilty until I hear it from his own lips. Sure he's guilty. Come on, fellas, let's get him. Try and make Kirby tell what he did with the guns before anything happens to him. And I'll plant several under his bed, just for safety's sake. to get you away from here, quickly. They're coming for you.
fiddle looks like rain and my darn old slickers in the wagon again. Come and I, 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 B, B, A, B, A, come and I, 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 B, B, A. Old Ben Bolt with a blame good boss, he wants his gal on the floor back home. Come and I, 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 B, B, A, B, A, come and I, 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 B, B, A. Here is the word I've been expecting from Washington. And the mineral lands I've wanted will be open to the public claim soon. It'll work out just as I hoped for. For years, I've kept the people out of the gold country. And now, you and I'll be the first ones in there. Why, Rover! How many times have I told you to keep off this sofa? Did you find Tom Kirby? Ah, uh, someone must have helped him.
Well, hello, Rose. Took rather a long walk, didn't you? Why, yes. Perhaps all the way to the river. Sit down, Rose. Why, what's the matter? Do you recognize this heel? Oh, you do. Where did you take Kirby? Where did you take Kirby? Howdy, Mr. Morris. Oh, yes, yes. Good day, brother. where Tom Kirby is? I, I will never tell you. Get the men together, will you, Morris? We've no time to lose. Get to town, see Rose Maitland for me. I'm worried about her because of what she did for me. Thank her. Yes, I will at once.
do you do, Miss Betty? Is Miss Maitland in? Yes. Uh, I, I mean, no. Uh, that is, she's unable to see anyone at present. What were you doing in here? Oh, Tom wanted me to... Tom wanted me to see you and thank you for what you did for him. Oh, but he's in danger now. Jeff knows where he is and he's going after him. Oh, it's terrible. Is my father inside? No, ma'am. He's out with some men looking for you, Miss Betty. Find him and tell him to meet me on the river trail above the falls. It's a matter of life or death. Yes, ma'am. Can't be far away. Somebody's a coming. how I found you, your dear friend Rose told me. If you harmed her, I can take care of her. And the people of Marsville can take care of you for smuggling guns to the Indians. In fact, I think it'll be quite a party. Tie him up and put him on the raft. I'll take care of him. And now you know what you're going to expect from me. Soldiers! Get them both onto the raft. Buck, take some men and haul out those troopers. of the bank so they can't escape there. The rest of you, follow me. Head for the other bank. One good thing, they can't shoot us while the girl's here. Somewhere soon, it ain't part of the falls. What falls? What falls? You'll find out if you don't get off this raft. Why don't they jump? Don't they know they're nearing the falls? I 
I'm leaving right now. Come on, Betty, we can't stay here any longer. Maybe she drifted down onto this side. Let's look. We got here all right, huh? Yeah, well, that's the last of the shipment. That's fine. Fred, get those wagons out of here and get me a horse. All right, Maitland.
Oh, Jeff, what did you do to Tom Kirby? Where's Betty? Why, darling, I didn't do anything to Kirby. I haven't even seen him. Or Betty either. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, I was so rough with you. I've been so terribly upset lately. You'll forgive me, won't you? Colonel looks plum tuckered out. And they didn't find Betty. Oh, Jeff, if we could only settle down and be happy. Just you and I. Good news, Mars. The soldiers surprised us, and we lost the entire shipment of guns over the waterfall. The last I saw them, the Indians were fishing them out of the water. Well, I'll talk to Pawnee Blood and see if he'll pay. Even though we didn't exactly make delivery of them, he must look to me for cartridges anyway. This is very bad news. I might have known when I made the deal with the Indians to put some miners in there secretly that word would get out. And just when the government was going to throw open the whole territory for settlers, another week and I would have controlled it all and made millions. Better get busy and do something. Maybe it isn't too late yet. The land belongs to the Indians. If we can't have those mines, nobody else will. <laughs> you and your wife, I mean sister, take the knife stage. Stake as many claims as you can and pay others to stake for you. And be sure, my dear Jeff, that none of your boys jump any of the miners' claim. We always want to do what is right. And have the boys bring all the blasting powder we've got. I'll join you tomorrow and show you how we can use it to advantage. Good idea, Morris. I'll attend to it. Hello, Snowball. Evening, Mr. Tom. This sure am a creepy place at night, ain't it? It sure is. It's full of weird shadows and queer noises. Must be the spirit of people who have been killed here. believe in ghosts, do you? No, and I ain't looking for him either. No, ball. I'm watching you. Mr. Spirit, how come you know my name? I ain't met you before, has I? No, but you'll meet me tonight. But I'm looking down on you. Look up! And look out! You'll step on me! Can't you feel my breath on your neck? Did you ever feel a ghost arms around your neck? No, and I ain't going to. All right, Tom. 
I bet the black ghost's working with Kirby. Kirby seems to know everything that's going on. Well, I think Kirby is a black ghost. Huh? Yes, sir, that's what I... They must be going to move the gal. Yeah, they're scared. As quick as you can. You're breaking my arm. See, you ain't the Halliday. Where is she held prisoner? Oh, my arm. Answer quick. You in that dock, huh? You remember yes? Or you forget no? Mile ahead, left fort, uh, further out, cave, Gracias, to north. Whoa! Take Miss Madeline to Paso City. I'll join you later. Yeah. What happened, Buck? That's a devil of ghost. Getting kind of hungry, Gail. 
I'll get you something to eat here in a minute.
out of here. There's the horse. He's been that way all day. Daddy Tom saved me from the Indians. If you break them specks, I'll allow you. Tom or no Tom. Please, Uncle Happy. Well, it was nigh on to ten years ago. You said eleven last time. Say, who's a telling this story? You or me? You are? Well, then you quit a trying to. Me and Tom and some others was out to scouting for engines. When we hear a lot of firing and yelling from the town that we was riding to. The engine had attacked the town. They'd done their work before we could get down. Nobody never knew what happened to some of the people. He was trying to drive the redskins off the street, then say what was left, and Tom fired him.
Engines broke after that, and we chased them off. Getting a fuel then, far thing go. And there you are. Roll strike! Roll strike! Dad! Oh, Dad! Betty! Oh, Betty! Betty, my little girl. And it was the black ghost who saved you? Yes, Dad. He, too, was trying to bring these men to justice. So Tom Kirby is innocent, eh? And Maitland has been behind all this deviltry and is now openly an outlaw? Yes. Are you ready, youngin? Just a minute, Uncle Happy. Uh? We need help. Colonel, a gang of outlaws have jumped the claim. They're killing folks. There's a battle on right now. Betty, I must leave here immediately. Mount the troop ready for action. Betty, I think I will drop you at the ranch on our way. All right, Dad. What are you doing with my private documents? Getting enough evidence to run you out of the country. 
<laughs> I've suspected you were behind these gun runners and outlaws. Now I know it. Well, what are you going to do about it? Show these to the proper authorities. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, careful, Morris. <laughs> got through. Huh? Cavalry is bound to interfere with us if we don't move fast. Let them come. With all that ammunition, we'll drive them out. Brush the cartridges inside.
Daddy Tom and Uncle Happy don't come back from the mine. Uncle Happy, big chief, he fight. Bring back plenty. Take the wire up the hill. We can roll the charge right down into their camp. Now is our chance. They must be out of ammunition. I'll go up and see if everything's ready. Good. Jake can take the signal from up there. 
Be ready in a minute. What is she doing here? Badly happy. Oh, what a warrior. Nothing but a scratch. Domenico, Bart. You bet. Now then, just keep that on until tomorrow. All right, Doc. Well, I must be going. I have a lot to do today. Thanks, Doc. Good day. Thank you, Doctor. You'd better lie down and rest now, Happy. Huh? Oh, oh all right. Betty told me the truth about you, and I'm glad. Thank you, Colonel. Won't you sit down? Come here, Buck. Colonel Halliday believes he has me defeated by putting the camp and town under martial law. But I'll beat them all. You men remain here. Be ready for another attack. Come on, Buck. You'll excuse me, Colonel. I have to see some friends. Just make yourself comfortable. Happy, you take it easy now. Happy? What happened? Oh, just a little scratch, Colonel. Yeah? But they're making a terrible fuss about her. <laughs> How do you feel, darling? I'm feeling much better, Jeff. I've been terribly worried about you. If anything had happened to you, I'd never have forgiven myself. Come here, Maitland. Oh. 
Oh, Jeff. Betty is coming over. She'll take care of you. You... You've been fine. But try and keep Jeff out of trouble. I'm afraid of that man, Morris. I'm through with you and your murderous gang. Killing people wasn't in my bargain. What? Just a moment. You'll do as I say. You know too much of my plans. Now, be sensible. Come along with me. All right, Morris. Oh, don't leave me, Jeff. I must go with him. But don't worry, dear. We'll soon be out of all this. Then I'll make it up to you. I'm beginning to like you, Buck. Now, do as I say. All right, Morris, let's go. Don't worry. I'll do everything I can. Thank you. Was stealing gold from the land the white father gave Indians. Land you and your brother should own. While white scum are stealing gold, many soldiers guard them. You send warriors, and with my men, we drive off miners and soldiers. to the man who captures the black ghost. You have. Well.
There's still plenty of gold in that office. Are you sure? Wait a minute. If you're planning another of those affairs, you can count me out. You're going through with this, Maitland. You're in too deep to back out now. All right, Morris. You've got me. But I'm telling you now, this is going to be my last job. He doesn't know how truly he has spoken. Remember that, Buck. Come on. Glad you come, you poor dear. You've had a terrible experience. Oh, it was terrible. Everybody has been wonderful to me. What is our friend Senor Morris up to now? You will tell me. Yes, no? Hey, Maitland. What are you stopping here for? I want to get some things. I won't be long. You hadn't better be. Hello, Betty. Hello, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. I'm so glad you're here. Rose, I... I can't stay. Oh, Jeff. You're not going out again? I must, Rose. Just once more. No, no, Jeff. Please. It'll be the last time, dear, I swear. When I come back, we'll go away. I tie you, not too tight. You can free yourself, but not too soon.
Open face. Let's get our horses and get going. Well, the black ghost saved us stringing them up anyway. <laughs> you're here. Jeff's been wounded. He's in there with Rose. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, Jeff, if you'd only listen to me. <laughs> what has happened to him? Someone shot him in the back as he was coming from the mine. Their leader was Midland. I tell you, I've seen him. We know where he lives. Let's get him. You don't reckon he'd be there, do you? He promised me we were going away from all of this. Oh, 
Brother, brothers, let us do nothing hasty, as much as the man deserves it. Hey, Tom. They are coming from town after him now. And I knowed that you didn't want him to get him yet. There's only one way. Happy? Yeah. I'm counting on you to get Rose and Maitland out of here. Hurry, Betty. We have to get away quickly. They'll be here soon. Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye.
Are you seeing Meglin? Tom Kirby and Miss Betty. What are they doing here? We thought it was Maitland and his sister. Tom, why'd you do this? It don't look right to me. To keep you from doing something you would regret. Meaning what? Punish Maitland. Morris is the man you want. Talk is cheap. But can you prove that? I can prove it as soon as we get back into town. By Maitland himself. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. We ain't going to get out. Soldiers are no soldiers. These are our claims. We fought for them before, and we'll fight again. My orders are to place this town under martial law and move everybody out. This is Indian land. We drove the Indians off it, and we're going to hold it. And I say you've got to go. Start loading those wagons. Come on. Come on. You've got to move on out of here. Come on, old fellow. Get going. Get out. Come on, boys. That wasn't Maitland the miners after. That was Kirby and Miss Betty. Then Maitland must be still hidden here. We've got to find him, boys. Well, you'd better, because Kirby's got to make them prove that you're the man they want. Look, we've got to find Maitland before he tells the Colonel what he knows. Maybe. He means business. Get him to cover, boys. Buck, you come with me. Shoot low, boys. We must get them alive. All right. Well, we'll lay low here till night.
men are the Indian's friend, and that they must not attack the wagon train. He says it's their gold, and that they ought not let them take it. He says they ain't no justice for the Indian, and the Indian will take what's his, and they'll attack the wagon train. with a wagon.
Wagons and let's get out of here. Come on, get started.
Now. Adios, Mavita. Hey, Mark. I found the Black Ghost hideout. And he's closed, too. Good. I'll beat them all. Keep your eye on the street. Now you behave yourself. Nobody's going to hurt you. Don't mind me, honey. Save yourself. Get away. Jeff, I won't leave you here, no matter what happens. Gee, boss, you make a great ghost. Oh, Betty! If we hurry, we can get him out of here. Well, this is luck. Saves us hunting for you. You know, lady, you don't pay to know too much. You've done your last interfering, Mr. Black Ghost. Now I'm going to know who you are. Just a minute, Hank. these girls out. I'll take care of Maitland. Ah! Senor Morris, another black ghost. Stick up the hand. Lady, bring him out.
bit of rambling for the hills. Them buffalo look plum restless. When you get well, Jeff, we'll go back east, where we can be happy. No, Rose. We'll stay here in Morrisville. And I'll try to make up for all the wrongs I've done. Oh, Jeff, you make me so happy. been my great friend, and I like you very much. But I love someone else. And this man that you love, it is Senor Kirby? No? Yes? Oh, that is so sad. He is not worthy of such as you. So sweet. So lovely. I have heard this Senor Kirby has loved many ladies. Is it not so? No doubt he has loved many ladies. But he loves me and always will. I have declared my love for you. Has this Senor Kirby done so much, like I have? No, but I love him. And I feel Tom really loves me. What makes you feel so sure Tom Kirby loves you? Tom Kirby, I'll never speak to you again, coaxing a confession out of me, then laughing at my love. <laughs> but honey, I was only teasing. Tom Kirby, don't you dare 